Hi guys, I am Nimish from Panchali Biomedical Services. My office is in Ghatkopar, Mumbai. Okay, now uh, as you have seen my earlier video, it was the instructional video how to use a AirSafe oxygen concentrator. Now in this video, I am trying to explain few troubleshooting tricks or what you, you can do to a, a, when you have a issue with the machine. So uh, the most uh, common uh, issue that uh, we face is that the machine is not giving enough pressure from of oxygen people complain about that so the most com common fault in that is this uh, inlet filter now this is a, a, a filter which is attached here it is supposed to block all the dust so uh, uh, whenever you are facing an issue of uh, uh, pressure of oxygen or force of oxygen just take this filter out dust it somewhere outside clear the dust and then you can refix it if you have some time, say 6 to 8 hours with you, then you can completely wash it also. But before refixing it, you have to make sure it is completely dry. Now, the easy issue that we face is that the machine is giving a beep sound and the machine is not working. What kind of sound is there? I will explain to you. This is the sound which you are hearing right now. Continuous beep sound. This is an indicator by the machine. This is an indicator by the machine that I am not receiving power. So in this case, what you will do, just check this power plug, whether anything is burnt or not, whether anything is loose or not, and then you will refix this into a different plug. Now suppose you are using it in a bedroom, then just try to change the plug and check the things that whether the machine is working or not. Then a few times the plug is also not working. So now I will complete this thing here and then I will explain things which are other than that. Okay guys, now I have plugged in the machine and uh, I am starting the machine from this side. Now uh, for example, uh, as you can see uh, there is a white switch here. Now this white switch is a trip switch. A trip switch is basically a circuit breaker which will try to save the circuit inside in case of a power surge. So whenever such issue has occurred that if there is a voltage spike or something, this trip switch will be at least one or one and a half centimeters outside of the present situation what you are seeing right now if you see it is only uh, one or two millimeters outside when there, when there will be a fault it, it will be about one centimeter in this case you are supposed to do nothing you are not supposed to reset by yourself and try to check whether the machine is working or not the technician has to come and see that any internal part is damaged or not and only after that one should start the instrument. Now this uh, no power symptom is completed now and I will move to the next topic. Hi guys, now I will try to explain the second most problem that you face that uh, patient will tell that uh, each and everything is working in the machine but there is no oxygen. They, they will tell you that uh, everything is okay but still I cannot feel any oxygen in my nose. So what happens mostly is that the, this bottle, humidifier bottle is not fixed properly. If whenever you face such a issue that everything is okay in the machine, the oxygen ball is going up but still mm, there is no oxygen to, to be felt, then just refix this thing. Now I will explain to you how to fix it. This is a simple flask which will, when you ro rotate on your right hand side, it will be tightened. So th this is this is how I tighten it. Okay? And the same logic goes for this knob which is fixed here. So this thing is fixed here and now I will rotate to my right hand side on this side. So I will rotate it here. You have to rotate until it's properly locked. Not forcefully just going on but just wait when there is enough pressure here. 
So this is how the bottle is fixed and just in case if you want to remove it, it is very simple. Just rotate it on the left hand side and while replacing water, do not uh, remove from here. First you have to remove this part, take the bottle completely out, then remove this thing and now you refill the water. So this uh, topic of loose bottle is covered now. So I will move to the next topic. Yeah. Hi guys, I am really sorry, I forgot one important thing. Uh, there is a question about how much water is to be filled in this bottle. And as a general rule, just fill it to the half, 50%. You can always read maximum and minimum, but uh, if you don't want to go into technicals, then just fill it up. That should do for at least 12 to 16 hours of your usage there won't be any issue so now finally the bottle topic is over yeah. hi guys uh, i have tried to explain few uh, uh, issues with the machine until now and furthermore i will be uploading one more video with many other uh, uh, troubleshooting problems okay thank you